All right, this is definitely take two, because I don't know, I screwed up on the first one. But all right, let's get into it. Hey guys, it's Slater. I'm here on my main to talk about flip merching. Yeah. All right, so basically you got to understand what flip merching is. It's a way to make profit on an item by finding the minimum and maximum price that people are paying and selling this item for. Uh, to help you with that, to practice, you're going to want to look at the RuneScape uh, Grand Exchange under Community and go to the most traded items and just pick one. Today we're going to do uh, what's what's a lot. I want to deal with something that's a lot of money. There's not going to be almost anything on here that costs a shit ton. Let's do... Let's do five blue dragon. No... Let's get something that's like millions or being sold. And so basically, you can also look right here, and these numbers show you uh, what is being sold or how much of it's being sold, uh, the minimum and maximum that's being sold, and the median, you know, the total over the last few days. Uh, so basically, let's do. Let's do. Uh, Death runes, all right. Death runes, yeah. It's a pretty decent amount of uh, items of death runes being sold and bought, so we'll do that. And that that's probably gonna have a l little bit of a profit margin. <coughs> to find the maximum amount that this item is being bought and sold for, this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna type in death runes, you know. Just like normal. Obviously not runes, because it's not what it, it's not plural. Uh, put in like plus thirty percent, because what we're trying to do is instantly buy this. There we go, instant buy, and it's uh, a two three hundred and twenty seven GP is the max. So you're gonna take your notepad. There you go, just like that, and you're gonna go ahead and sell that rune back. For like negative 30%. Just to get that instant sell. And again this is going to show you. The least amount of money. That it's being bought and sold for. And here that's 323. Oh, they, that's almost no margin at all. Okay. Okay. So as you see on that. One rune. I lost. Four gold, right? <clears throat> That's what I call the range or profit margin. So, basically that means depending on what you spend and what you buy, you can change it. You can say, I'm trying to buy them for 323, or you can do it for 324, 25, 26. You know, just like that. You decide. Uh, you decide the profit margin. Okay, so we're gonna try to buy, say, ten of these for three hundred and twenty-three. There you go. So we're going to buy 10 of those and confirm the offer. Hopefully this will come in pretty quick and uh, I'll start it back up whenever it does. <laughs> Alright guys, so uh, while I had it paused, they were not buying for 323 but like I said, that's an estimated low price. You know, not everybody might be selling it for that. So I knocked it up just one gold. Uh, that still leaves me three three GP profit to be made. You know, it's uh, no no big deal. Um, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and collect those, and we are going to attempt to sell them back for let's say let's just do three hundred and twenty six. You know, that's going to only be two profit, but it's just showing you it can be done.
and again I'll uh, start it back up whenever I can get a uh, buy okay it took literally about two seconds so what just happened is I'll show I'll show you in the in the history what happened is when I bought the death rune and sold it I found out the maximum it's being sold for is 327 and the minimum it's being sold for is 323 so what I did is I used the minimum to buy 10 for uh, 324 each and then I used the maximum to sell them to find out what to sell them for and that was uh, 327 each but I went ahead and did it for 326 and I only made 20 GP profit for those 10 death runes so that's basically that is flip merching that's how you flip an item uh, buying it for low selling it for high and uh, don't be like oh well that's stupid because uh, yeah sure that wasn't too much uh, too much of a you know profit but that's the secrets that I can share with you later and I'll explain how you can find those out there are items you can make 50k uh, you know with one with one flip uh, there's items you can make you know 1 million 5 million 10 million with the flip you know this you're talking party hats uh, rares and stuff like stuff like that um, it, it really just depends on your cash stack you know uh, if you have a hundred K you might wanna you can flip with items such as death runes vials feathers uh, but I recommend getting some more cash in your stack before before you come maybe maybe like a mill you know a mill will uh, I have all my money into magic right now so a mill is all I had the other day and now I'm up to 4.2 mil and um, that's just from just going by and just doing little little flips and uh, so I gained 3 mil in just a few days um, doing nothing while I trained you know it's uh, it really depends on how much how, how much you do this uh, it's really nothing you just go by the bank and you do a flip and then you get out of there, you can go do something else, do it every now and then whenever you feel like it. Uh, it also depends on your cash stack, like I told you. 100k, you're going to be making 4 GP profits, you know, per item. But if you're working with hundreds of millions, you can be doing uh, mill profits, you know. So, it all depends on a lot of things. And we can help you out, tons more of that, Ton with tons more of this. And any other question you have at Merge Till Max Clan Chat. Uh, the clan leader is Trip Flip Toke. I just thought I would make this video because, you know, it's helping out my channel, helping you guys out, and also helps me uh, get the clan out out there. So you're going to want to PM him or PM me or PM my peer. My peer is Slate's Hair. I'll, I'll type that down as well because some of you might not know it. There's my peer's name. Uh, Go ahead and contact us if you want to join the clan, and leave it a like if you enjoyed the uh, guide. I tried to make it as descriptive as possible and tried to show you almost everything I could. If you do not understand something, please uh, leave me a message <coughs> on the video or hit me up on RuneScape. So, again, uh, I'd really, I'd really appreciate it if you just checked into the clan chat and uh, you know just had a look ask a few questions just, you know it's it's it really is a cool clan chat uh, there's about 30 40 people in there right now and you know it just started last week but uh, clan leaders a great guy and uh, we all definitely have tons of fun talking all day <laughs> all day none of us ever shut up yeah Alright, so that's it for the flip merging uh, guide. From here on out, I'll just give a quick update on my character. So if you wanna, if you wanna listen to that, then go ahead. But uh, that's it for the guide. So 
uh, on my character currently. Um, I haven't made much progress since the last time I showed it to you. And basically, I'm still just working on that magic. Getting up to 99, I'm almost at 94. And uh, I'm still doing it with Plank Make. I'm kind of thinking about crashing and uh, doing it with string jewelry the rest of the way because I'm really getting tired of plank making. I, I need a break. Somebody save me from this. Uh, also, trying to get up to, you know, 80 strength. And I got to get my range up. You know, that's really low. Maybe after that, use some money for prayer. My, uh, my tank's range is actually lower than my mains at the moment. So... Yeah, it's pretty sad. <clears throat> Other than that, uh, I would enjoy it if you invited me some dungeoneering, me or my peer, because on my peer I have to get, you know, chaotic crossbow and a whole bunch of other uh, ranged items in from from dungeoneering. And on here, I just, I you know, I just gotta eventually get it up to one twenty, and uh, it's it just sucks doing it alone. So send me an invite. Um, and that's all I'm basically going to talk about for this video. I hope you enjoyed. See ya.